Hey guys, it's Adrian from Progression. In today's video, we're gonna be going to the auto show. Today is the first day we got the 11th. We got Marta, Jesse, Rudy, and Sam up front. Uh, we're hopefully gonna meet up, be meeting up with Jeremy down there. We'll see what happens when we get there. You know, you never know what you're gonna get with him. But uh, we're gonna come uh, go along and bring you guys along. Since it is the first day, we wanna drop this video first and then uh, we are planning on going back. So we'll probably end up going uh, back sometime next week uh, to film a different style of video. And hopefully you guys enjoy that. So we're going to head to the city and we're going to bring you guys along. Alright, so we just got to the McCormick place. Getting all the camera gear set up. Marta on bag duty. Sam's going to be IG duty. And we're getting them all set up. Uh, I don't know what to expect because a lot of cars did get discontinued um, this year because of the whole emission stuff and everybody trying to go to electric. So it'll be interesting to see all the new designs of the cars because I know Subaru is a little bit different since they discontinued that uh, line as well. And I think they're going fully electric. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, the different cars that we'll be seeing in there. So hope, uh, hope you guys enjoy and we'll bring you guys along. Almost gets ran over wants, by a Karen. Oh, dude. So, little little pre context. So, we're trying to get Rudy to park, but you know, Rudy's a little fragile. But thank, thankfully, his girlfriend got a little bit, you know, feel me? So, we got out. Shorty runs me over. Could have been on World Star. Hey, if you see us on Facebook, you know you know why it happened, bro. All right. So, look, this is the first time that we're going to have all the guys. But well, we got the wireless mic. We got Jesse, Rudy on some stabilizers. So, hope you guys enjoy the videos. You know, it's going to be a lot more productive and be able to get a lot more video content and stuff like that because uh usually we only have one stabilizer but you know we've been trying to up our content where can i get in a third one so hopefully the car events will be looking crazy but the car content is gonna go crazy so if you guys are new here because you guys saw the auto show video um make sure to check us out we, we know we're gonna have the draggy we're gonna have a lot of cars you know make sure to check out our car we got the gti 370 335 and m3 and sq5 so you know and we're starting the f250 build and little you know little exclusive you know rudy got a fucking bronco so we're gonna see when that bitch comes out here but you know we we got we got a little bit of everything we like fucking basket robins bro 32 flavors got a little bit of yes sir where's jesse at but you already know we're here i'm excited to see what's gonna happen you know i got a little scary when adrian got almost ran over but in that situation what do you do i'm over here like do i put her in reverse she's almost gonna hit me what she's gonna hit, she's gonna hit my boy for sure but Agents are real one. He got us the parking spot. Alright bro, so now we walked in. Oh uh, shit. We out here? What's, 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 the, what's the, the car you're looking forward to seeing? Bro, I'm, I'm looking at that bike. You see that bike up there? I'm not looking at the Toyota, I'm looking at the bike. Oh hell no, turn around, look at that rat, look at that Bronco. I don't know about you Adrian, but this is sick. Well this is 100% like uh, not the basic one. I, I don't know what the trim are, but this is, I don't know what it is, but this is sick. What do you think Adrian? I don't know. I think I'm excited to see what um, you know what we have in store for the Bronco that Rudy got. So Rudy bought an older one from Mexico. So we're gonna be excited to see rebuilding that because uh, I'm excited for the F250. So the F250 that Rudy's building is actually gonna be being rebuilt by the summer. So hopefully we'll have that. What's the game plan for the for the F250? With that, we're gonna do a built motor. So it's a 351. That's a very common motor in the Ford. Um, it's like the 350 in the Chevy. So we're doing uh, Adel Brock heads. I still don't know what carburetor we're gonna be doing, but we already have Summit Racing headers. We're gonna do a three inch straight to a one to a dump right by the diff. And we already did the lift kit, but I wanna go a little taller. Um, but my goal, like power wise, just it's gonna be a towing rig more than anything. We're gonna be doing like around 500, I think would be nice with a nice cam. I don't know about you guys, but you know, I like the V8 noise. But what do you think, Adrian? You, I think we're getting love and traction off this truck. 
which is amazing because honestly, I never thought that an old pickup truck would get so much love from so many people. Because we go to the gym and we get asked like, man, like, what are you guys that are gonna finish it? And I think we've moved pretty, pretty good on this build. But personally, I wanna be already painted because I don't know, when I see it, I just, I see the vision. I don't know how the other car enthusiasts are, but when I see a vision, I like to, I like to see it towards the end. We're gonna be having the series with the F250. So if you guys wanna follow along, Rudy will be doing that. We're dropping a car and fitness video every other week. So stay tuned for that. There's a car week and fitness week. So fitness week, there's two videos up until the summer when we finally um, have a lot more content with the cars out during the summer. <laughs> Bro, so I've been wanting a super for a minute, but they don't have manual ones. But now this year they have a manual one. If you guys follow, if you guys watch TJ Hunt, you guys know that he's cutting it up and he's gonna make it his drift car now. Like, bro, just look at look at the car. So it's like you get a BMW in a super, uh, BMW motor in a super. So you get all the technology, and it's a Toyota. You know what I mean? If they, hey, if they got the B58 in a Toyota, you know it's reliable. I don't know. You know that when you buy when you buy a car straight from the dealership with all the packages, but you just pay an extra just because it came from the dealership. I think if I were to build one, I don't know. I'd have to see what's on the market because I've obviously never owned a B58. So like obviously, you never know. You gotta go with FCP Euro. I guarantee you can get away with FCP Euro even though it's a Toyota because it's the same fucking motor. So you can find all the sensors, all that, and you, like I said earlier, you get the BMW technology in a Toyota. So it's you get the up to date, up to date tech, everything. I appreciate you have to have. CarPlay, I don't know. Don't take my word for that because I have no idea. But I don't know. What do you guys think? Comment down below. You think I should get a Super next or an M4? Completely different cars, but I don't know. It's just something about a Super. I would have loved to white body it with a Street Hunter K. If you guys haven't uh, seen that kit before, I'm going to drop a picture down below. It's TJ Hunt's uh, car. If you guys aren't familiar with who he is, he's a big car enthusiast, you know, big uh, influencer in the industry, uh, big YouTuber. But now he's got three Supras, but you know, the more I see him having all these cars and it's manual now, the more I want to have one. If I would get a Z, uh, that's uh, that's Jeremy's cup of tea or whatever. But the thing that's dope is it's they got the red one, like the red 335, and then they got Rudy over here on the right. It's kind of cool looking at the the 37. Uh, what is it? The 400Z, right? Or they call it the Z, but everybody's just kind of made it uh, called the 400Z. I don't know. It's kind of cool to see them transform this car from all the other models that they had uh, earlier on, and kind of taking a little bit of everything and kind of putting it into one one unique build which I think, right, they call it the Z, right? So they call it the Z now, but everybody likes to call it the 400Z, which, I mean, how could you not, you know? But um, it's been cool to see what TJ Hunt's done with his. Uh, you guys should look up the Street Hunter. Like, he's been doing a lot. He's been making his body kits and stuff like that. So guys, you got Adrian's perspective on the, on the Z. I'm gonna call it a Z, because there's so many Zs out there, I, I don't want to get it wrong. Um, so this Z, I would get it, because the platform, the motor platform is there. It's been there, you got it in the Q50 and they make power. They got the Q50R, I believe, or red. They make power and I know the the scared thing for me is when a new car comes out, you don't know what what problems are going to come out. You don't know if that motor could hold pro, could hold power. So for me personally, I always like to see it proven. So like now, 
I will buy a Supra. I'm 100%. I don't know who's going to get it first. Jesse wants one. I want one. Adrian wants one. But I don't know. I want another M3, though. I want to keep the M3 going. I'm probably going to get another M3 or I'm probably going to get a Cobra. So it's in between Jesse and Adrian who's going to get the, the Supra. But, yeah, dude. For me, personally, you you got the, what is that, B58? B58 and the Supra, yeah. Yeah, so you got it on the 340, 345? 340i. 340i. You got it on the Z4s. Or the Z3s, I think they are. Uh, but man, that, that's my perspective on it. But it's a beautiful car. If you see that red, you know, honestly, I'm a blue type of guy. But that red looks beautiful. That's like a nice burnt. Uh, and if you guys didn't know, Rudy actually had a red Avenger, but he transitioned over to the blue. I've always had my blue Beamer, so it's, it's different. Yeah. I, on my heart, I'm blue. I feel like you either like red or you like blue. There's no in between with that. Uh, okay, so I'm blue. Blue opposites. Blue. Then we got the white one. We got the American flag. We got the white GTI. So Jesse, what do you think about the new uh, Hellcat now that it's going electric? Man, uh, these lights, these lights right here are pretty wild. Uh, I think it's very innovative what they're doing. Uh, the color is amazing. Uh, to me, I, I want to see it inside because I haven't got the chance to see it. But I love the two-tone, black top, uh, red bottom, and they have a nice slip too. The wheels are pretty cool too. No, okay. Yeah, no, I'm a fan. I'm definitely a fan. I love the two seats, two separate seats. That, that digital dash is, looks, oh dude, it looks nice. The ambient lighting is very beautiful. I'm not a big fan of these wheels, but the interior is just so crazy. Let me see the rear. So they continued with uh, pretty much like LED lighting all around. Uh, I would like to see how it would look with um, with the, the LED lights, so, so turn signals, the emergency lights, I would like to see how that looks. I wonder if these are functional? They should be. Yeah, they are, they're functional. These are wild. Look at the side, the side in the middle, that thing looks crazy. Yeah, no exhaust. Yeah, I dig it, dude. Oh, the rear window is so cool. It kind of gives you like that plaid. Cause they have separate seats. Oh, is that bucket seats? Yeah, they're bucket seats. Bucket seats all around. Yeah, and the side mirrors, they're they're pretty dope. I'm not gonna lie. The lines on this car is really nice. It's panoramic, so all this is glass. Oh, yeah. No, I'm a fan. I'm definitely a fan. All the lighting is just so nice. It looks like it's done very nice, very, very uh, high quality stuff. I wonder how it looks like. Uh, it's probably a hatchback. It looks like it, it'll just open up like that. Yeah, it looks like a hatchback. I wonder if they have the same type of uh, design as Tesla and just did the body, the, the underbody as a battery. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe they have it in the front. They have, just have a big cell right there. Yeah, dude. I wonder if you could change the colors just like the GTIs. Those those lugs. Uh, I'm a little concerned for that because like uh, when you want to change wheels. Yeah, you're gonna have an issue because like you're gonna have to have that custom one type of uh wheels or you're gonna have to stay rocking these center lock, right? yeah center lock look at the the hood right there i didn't even notice that i know that i would ever get an alfa romero but this color i don't know that there's any car company that does this color and i don't know i'm not sure entirely if it's because of the clover because they do have a clover design on all these cars but this green like even the camera is not doing it justice, I could tell right off the bat. Like, it's just such a deeper green than it actually comes up on the car, on the camera. They're so like, I feel like there's something so unique to them. They look a lot more luxurious. Yeah, they're more luxurious than I feel you would think that they are. Cause they're not that much. I think they're about 30, 40 grand, right? Yeah, this one might be 50, just cause it's a newer model as well. But, you know, I feel like it, it is a nice car for what you're paying for, but if I'm spending 40 G's, I'm, I'm getting a fucking 340i or something like that. So, with that being said, what do you think about this car? Would I get this car? Yes, dude, look at that color. That's so eye appealing. We're, we're looking for a wrap, so this might be on the list. Just look at that. That's just, you know, I can't get my eyes off of it. Like, it blends really nice with the carbon fiber, that little. 
Like I don't like I don't know. Ada, you know, you should think about wrapping your car this color, bro. This shit's nice. But how much is this? I would say around 40, 50. I have no I would buy one just because you don't see them. I'm sorry. I will not be buying this. <laughs> Woo! I got a lot of other things I would want to buy. I'd rather buy an M3 with this, to be honest. But it's a really nice car. $81,000. Sam will like this car. Look at the... It's sick. The color, I think the colors will gets, gets my attention more. It reminds me of uh, the new... What is that, an M3? Yeah, but even on a camera, it doesn't do like the justice because it's probably not like, it? It does not, it looks so much better. Yeah, no, it looks so much better in person. Like, it's really, really nice. It's like my BMW color. The blue off my Beamer, you cannot see it in a camera. You gotta see it in person. At night, it looks really nice, and on daytime, it just looks beautiful. But this is one of those colors you can't see in, in, the, in the camera. Sam, how do you feel about this car? I think it's pretty. That's it. That's all I got. How about you, Carl? I think it's gorgeous, actually. You know? I fucking love this, the color. This or the, or the electric uh, charger? Uh, this for sure, cause it's not electric. Like that's the <laughs> that's the literally the only reason, cause it's not electric. All right, so I guess I'm not the only one on the boat. I like to hear a nice rumbling motor. That's just me. Hey, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to invest on some sound, bro. You're gonna have to have that. Oh, wow. He's gonna upload the fucking exhaust. Oh, hey, add that little. Whip, 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 whip. <laughs> You know what you're on top oh, of? Is it the fucking uh, the Jets? What, yeah, the Jetsons, yeah. The Jetsons. Bro, that's sick, dude. I'm not gonna lie, that's sick, dude. Their stock tune comes with uh, pops and crackles. So oh. that wing is so crazy. Look at that. <laughs> this has been used, bro. You so it's been out. And it's been out. I dig the the wide body, dude. Yeah, well, you can get a you can get a representation of uh of the difference between uh, wide body and regular. You know, look at, you got a good, I could say about, about like four inches. And Is that a lot? <laughs> that's a lot, that's a lot, bro. that's a lot. Uh, me personally, I actually really like these Hyundais, but I would not purchase one. Uh, I do like their seats, how they section off right here. They do that in the Corvette too, you see how they uh, they separate the, the passenger, pretty much give you uh, all control okay. to all your stuff. Yeah, it looks pretty dope. So. This is probably my, one of my favorite uh, GTIs uh, would be the Mark 8, to be honest. I'm not a big fan of a little bit of things, but um, there's things that you could always just modify and make it your own. But the, the white color on these, to me, are so dope. These wheels are super dope to me. Um, and the, you, can't, you just can't beat that price tag, man. 30K how it sits right now. 30k how it sits right now, and this is the Autobahn version, the same one that I have. Uh, pretty much uh, bigger front brakes. Uh, I think they're 340, uh, and then you have pretty much the same platform, the 2.0. And this roof rack is pretty cool. I think this is a S, to be honest, because uh, I had to look inside to see the interior, but it looks like the S model where you can you have a panoramic uh, a roof. Uh, Let's look on the side, let's see. I would like to see the lights on. It looks like they have halogens. What's cool too is they took off the orange ambient, you know, so you don't have the ambient stuff on there either. Uh, I don't like this, to be honest. That would probably be the first thing I, I would take off on that. Okay, I, didn't, I haven't seen these. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'm not sure how I feel about the logo either. The exhaust is really weird. You have, you have about like what? It looks like a good uh, inch and a half. Uh, I don't see big major changes. Other uh, than the headlight, uh, the front bumper, uh, the emblems, and then it came with the side markers. Uh, that, that's pretty dope. Oh, and they have lights inside the, the handles. This is the first time I'm actually looking at the digital cockpit here and the screen. I've heard a couple bad reviews about this, but I haven't personally used it. It might have just been a couple vehicles that, that had that problem. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's probably got fixed by now. This shifter, it's pretty, it's pretty like notchy. As, that, I'll change this too. Um, I do like how small the start engine button is. Uh, everything is pretty much on this panel. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if you want to change your climate control. Oh, there you go. So you have climate control here. Uh, it's probably not working, but yeah. So climate controls here. Uh, you got your modes here. I actually like it. It's pretty uh, intuitive. The the screen is pretty dope. This steering wheel reminds me a lot of Rudy's steering wheel on the SQ5. It's small, flat bottom, compact. You, you have the you have the spots where you're supposed to hold it. Pretty dope. I don't like these. Uh, mostly because of the piano. 
piano black uh, it leaves a lot of fingerprints and uh, you're probably gonna have to be like this or it's not it's not a physical button I'm not sure if you can hear that click there's no click so right here to put up the volume you would have to go like that uh, you have your cruise control here I'm pretty sure this is your timer uh, you got your voice stuff on this side uh, oh it comes with a heating steering wheel which is uh, pretty cool mine doesn't come with that I'm not sure if this comes just with this model uh, it does have a moonroof so maybe that's an added with the autobound version uh, but mine doesn't come with a moonroof to save uh, save weight. Um, I do wonder how much this weighs with this because I know adding this puts a lot of weight on the car, but I dig it. They have new seats as well. These actually are pretty comfortable. I'm not going to lie. They hug you really good. Uh, I'm going to suggest that if you're a little bit more heftier, uh, it's going to be a little uncomfortable because I'm small and uh, I could already feel Yeah, I could feel that I'm pretty stuck in here. The clutch gives you more feedback. It's heavier, just like just like any GTI, the the wobble. So this is what, what's so crazy. Like when we're looking over here, I see it. And it's a Buick. So the, one thing that was crazy about the Hyundai's on the other side was that they were starting to look like the concept cars of Mercedes, and this looks a lot like the the concept that Mercedes was doing, but it kind of has like that Lexus IS 400, right? Yeah. That like Lexus look. But it's, it looks so futuristic, like all the concept cars that they have like in the future. And the thing that it reminds me of is uh, the commercial that's like... That's not a Buick. I'm gonna drop the clip right here. All right, so we didn't really get much of the BMW stuff just because the BMW section was like three or four cars, which it's always the X5Ms or stuff like that, all the SUVs. But if you see over here, we got the Lexuses, which um, the RCFs have always been pretty nice. I do want to hear more about the Lexus that's back there behind the red one. But uh, we'll be going. We'll be coming back to the auto show to kind of come during the week and kind of uh, interview more people. So right now, today's video is mainly about doing a little overview of all the cars, especially since a lot of the cars are not going to be coming back this year. to plug in the mic so you guys are gonna have to bear with us so we're just gonna do a little voiceover but basically right here i was just closing out the video saying that i hope you guys enjoyed the video especially because we had a lot more different content since we had rudy and jesse filming as well um i would have to say that my favorite car was the supra just because they brought the manual version this year and uh that's something that uh shows that they actually care about their customers It'll be interesting to see what cars will, there'll be at the auto show in the future, especially with all the EPA cracking down on all the cars, which is why they're going to electric. So it'll be interesting to see that in the next couple of years and see where the car industry goes. It is a dying industry, so hopefully there'll still be motor uh, cars and not as much electric. Hey guys, so this is where Adrian passes the microphone to me. Um, you know, looking dashing like always. So this is where I'm explaining what I enjoyed the most of the auto show. I really enjoyed like the the fun that we all had. I enjoyed filming with my brother and Adrian. Um, it was really interesting to see all the cars that actually came back this year. Um, you see a lot more electric cars than than gas powered cars. So for me, my favorite car wouldn't be the Supra. It would be. Um, the Bronco, the Bronco bringing it back from, I think the last one that they would, or they made was 93. Um, I think was a huge change and it was a beautiful addition to Ford with the Raptor that they made in the early 2000s. I, I love every single car that was there. Even if it was electric, I'm not a fan, but I'm a fan of cars and just the body lines and everything that came back. I just want to say uh, uh, thank you to everybody that, that gave us the opportunity to talk to them. 
the, the guys at USC that whole team. Um, Abe, uh, it was like seven, seven, seven guys I think, that were there. Uh, head engineers, very, very intelligent people that took the time out to explain to the nitty gritty and down to the bolts of what they were doing with their Formula One cars. And um, uh, Norman, Norman from uh, from McLaren, he gave us a, a shout out. He gave us a business car, so he was a cool guy. Um, my favorite car there was honestly the Buick, uh, just because it just looks so futuristic and they're really pushing the envelope. Um, the Challenger is pretty cool too. Uh, but just like my brother and Adrian said, uh, the push to go electric is, is very strong. Uh, last year, it was a smaller event. Uh, you've seen a little less uh, uh, electric cars, and now you're seeing more and more companies uh, uh, start innovating and putting in these uh, new technologies. And uh, next thing you know, we're just going to be pretty much all Teslas and, and, uh, and electric cars out here. So I'm excited to see what, what's going to happen next year. and. Uh, the next auto show and what the other companies are start doing as well. All right. So just to go based off of what Jesse was saying, uh, oh, we no did way. get to speak to the UIC and McLaren guy. So um, you guys will see that in the next video. We're going to be breaking up the auto show into three different videos, maybe four, depending on what happens the next time that we go. Um, if you guys are new here, make sure to subscribe. We have a uh, GTI M3 SQ5, uh, 335i and uh, 370z. Rudy and Jesse are uh, starting to build the F250 as we saw, as I talked about earlier in the video. Uh, we are hoping to have that done by the summer. And I know that they have another project as well with the Bronco, which is why we talked about that earlier. So we're excited to see what happens with that. Um, very excited to see what is in store for Rudy and Jesse with that truck. And I hope you guys are enjoying it. It's a lot uh, more diverse. I'm trying to give you guys a lot of different content. And uh, we'll be switching off between cars and fitness videos. So if you guys are into fitness, make sure to check us out. We'll be having a gym week and a car week. So during the gym week, we'll have two videos, Monday and Wednesday, Monday at 1 p.m., Wednesday at 4 p.m. And once we start getting closer to the summer, we will be posting twice a week the car videos. So we hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to leave a like and a comment because it does help us out. And until next time, peace.